get dance. Hello, Raisin 3 and Philly fans. How are you? So just like I promised you, I have my son, Joshua. You know, he has his own YouTube channel. And he's going to do a little sweet, little sweet, 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 sweet fashion show for you guys. Like I said, casual teenager stuff, you know. No Dolce Cabana or Gucci, but you know what? You could put a ripped up jacket with a Dolce Cabana shirt and you never know what you come up with. Like I said, uh? this is the year of eccentricism. So this 2021 year for teenagers, they start their own revolutionary way of having their clothes expressing how they feel through their statements. So, I mean, expressing how they feel through their clothes. Excuse me. So stay tuned, tune in. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe, subscribe. And if you have not yet subscribed, you need to subscribe. This is an enlightening moment. So subscribe and I shall see you shortly, okay? All right, Raising 3 in Philly. It's your lady time. Coming in. All right. Hey, Raising 3 in Philly fans. How are you? Well, this is my son, Joshua, who I was telling you about. Come back a little bit more, Joshua, so I can see how tall you are. Like I said, 6'3", people, 6'3", 14 years old. <laughs> anyway, uh, he's going to fashion off his uh, what he's wearing, and I'm going to describe what he's wearing, and he's going to show you. This is one of his many casual outfits that he likes to wear. Do your thing, Joshua. All right, so... The shirt here, we're going to start from top to bottom. So he likes to wear his hat. And as you can see, it's like a beanie hat. Very casual, sofa, relaxed hat, you know. And he likes to wear his hat and and everything. And, and you know, it's cold here in Philadelphia right now. So the hat is very needed. As we turn around, he turns around to see the necklace that he has. He has a gold chain, very nice gold chain. Look like the Saul character that's on his chain right there, folks. Yes, yes. You see that, folks? Let me see if I could come in closer with that. Let me see. Oh, I can't. Okay. All right, we're going to work on that. For technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, people. But anyway, um, the Saul Gold Chain, that's one of his favorite characters. It represents his personality that is very kind of... <laughs> Okay, that's not your favorite good, character. Good, 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 good. All right, go ahead. Good, good, good. Explain good. to explain this to is, the people, Joshua, XX, why you like this. Which was yesterday was his birthday, so uh, that's why. Uh, X X Tentacion on the chain. Okay. You know, but I'm sapphire a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Um, yesterday was his birthday. You know, rest in peace. He could have turned, I think, twenty three or something like that. Oh, uh, sorry to yeah. hear that. Wait, All right. So then we have the. Then we have the SpongeBob T-shirt gray, but it's very masculine looking. Uh, SpongeBob is just a representation of simple youth, youthfulness. You know, he's 14 years old, young, so it represents his youth. As we come down, he got on some plain black pants here, just plain back spandex pants. Then we got the shoes. The brown leather shoes, folks, as you see. The shoes are very nice. There you go. Thank you, Joshua. And they're very nice and very adorable, very comfortable. Very, very casual-looking shoes. They're sleek-looking, too. They're real genuine leather, folks. Genuine leather shoes with the white sole toppings. The white white toppings, I guess you would say. White sole, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so... um. His whole outfit is a very casual outfit, just to, you know, wear something cozy, nice, and warm, and comfortable. Comfortability is key, right, Joshua? Yes, ma'am. All right, so what would you like to say to the fans of Raising 3 in Philly about what you're wearing and why you're wearing it? One thing I'd like to say is a little shout-out to myself. Go follow my Instagram, Joshua. My name, Joshua. Not 6FT, because I am 6 foot, as you very well may know. Um, you know, this is basic fit. Um, it's kind of cold here in Philly, like she has said, so, you know, usually I wear a hoodie or something. You know, this is indoors right now, so I'm just, you know, 
had the flex for T. You know, got little nerdy SpongeBob juice, you know, the normal SpongeBob's, you know, all that. You know, I'm a little nerdy sometimes too, so I can be nerdy, you know, it's all cool. And um, yeah, you can follow my YouTube too. It's Joshua Dot Six FT. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, that's all. That's really all I gotta say. You know. Okay. And um, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Joshua. Thank you for showing us one of your outfits that you wear regularly on a regular basis. Peace out, everyone. And Joshua, peace out to the audience and ladies for your film. Peace out. Peace out. Okay, folks. So I'm back to my bracelet making, making my own fashion here. And uh, I like doing bracelets. And y'all know, when I start doing my so, bracelets, what do I do? I am a very talk. giving person. I talk about what's so ever on my mind. Whatever I'm led to talk about, so that's what I'm going to talk about. So stay tuned. And comment below. And tell me if you like my videos or not. Or what you feel I should do to make it more better or whatever. I will give you Stay tuned and subscribe. Um, subscribe. One thing here is a choker like this for bracelets that I do. I like to do chokers or bracelets, okay? So, yeah, so I give out freebies a lot. So tune in, all right? And I post new videos usually every Tuesdays and Fridays. Usually every Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, sometime it might be later in the week, but most of the time Tuesdays and Fridays. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bracelet first. Okay, all right. Okay. So I'm working with these beads here. About to do my bracelets here. So I'm going to do one bracelet. going to start with, I'm going to get this, I'm going to use this wire, this light wire, okay? All right. <laughs> Go ahead and put that in the I can edit this part out, just so I tell you that. <laughs> Folks, the white light, the blue light has got me a little, can't see all that well right now. Let's see. Let's see, I might have to choose another bead, an another bead uh, thing to make the bracelet with. Okay, so let me choose some bigger ones. Y'all know how I do it. Some ways to skin a cat. So, let me do the... Uh, something different here. I'll do some bigger ones. Ah! Oh, I got some wooden ones here. I don't know if you can see it. They're like pink. I got some wooden ones here and some big ones. So I'm going to use these wooden ones here. Alright. So usually I'm going to tie one in. Very, I'm a very amateur bracelet maker. Y'all should know this if you've been watching my videos. Alright. Very amateur bracelet maker. So I'm making a knot here on the end. Making a pink bracelet with these wooden uh, wooden bead things that I got here. So I'm making a pink pink bracelet. Oh, sometimes they get clogged. You gotta use scissors to get into it. So just wanna open up. There we go. We got two on. And uh, 
man. Yeah, let me cut this because for this to be a bracelet, this is quite long as you can see. So let me cut this. One bead on. I'm gonna get a bunch of um, wet and blunt. If you hear some squeaking in the background, it's my daughter's guinea pig named Patches. He's so cute. You might have seen him in some of my videos. Um, I know I showed a photo of him before, but um, yeah, you might have seen them. So, no harm done. We're all animal lovers here. Uh, I have a bird over there in the cage. I have a turtle. Our turtle named Sam. Well, y'all can't see him, but he's in back of you. Sam. He's a small uh, turtle. I tell you, it's like Noah's Ark in this house. Um, oh, here goes some more. Great. Alright, so what I'm going to talk about is about beauty. Um... You know the old saying, they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I believe that's true to a certain extent. I do believe that's true to a certain extent. Um, beauty is defined in many ways. Um, beauty in the dictionary is defined as the ascription of a property or characteristic to or of a person, object, animal, or animal that provides a perceptual experience. Well, hmm. I'm a Scorpio. My zodiac sign, I'm a Scorpio. So for me, beauty can mean a lot of things. And if you know anything about Scorpio, huh? we have very large ima imaginations. So, beauty, in my mind, covers a lot of different things. Um, do I believe that everyone has beauty in them? Yes. And beauty is not just an outward thing. It's not just how you look or how you dress or how you wear your hair or how you wear your makeup. Beauty is something, real beauty, I believe, comes from the inside. Comes from who you are, what kind of person you are, what drives you to do your best in life. You know, what's your drive? What's your authentic self, you know? Um, a lot of us have, well, I'm going to say this. Some people just don't think they're beautiful. Some people just uh, have issues with themselves. They have issues with accepting themselves, who they are. You know, I believe that you got to have beauty within yourself. You have to love yourself first in order to show your real beauty you know a wise man once said you can't love anybody else till you love yourself first and that is so true and what goes along with that is beauty because when you love yourself I'm almost well got a couple more to go just thought I'd show y'all though anyway but when you love yourself you are capable of loving someone else. And beauty to me, beauty and love goes hand in hand. Um, now, love, of course, is deeper than beauty. It's more emotional. It's more uh, love covers, how can I say, more things. But um, beauty is... How can I say? In my mind, so it's sort of like a synonym for love, you know. Um, there was once a group by the name of Drew Hill. They called beauty a woman. Um, 
they say beauty is her name. Um, so beauty can be defined in many ways. But like I said, if if you love yourself, it's quite easy to see the beauty within yourself. And it's very important that you love yourself. Here's why. You ever try to ride a bicycle before? You know? If you ever... Some people self-taught themselves how to ride a bike. Some people were blessed to have other people along the way to push them and help them learn how to ride a bike when they were young. Either way you look at it, you had to be patient with yourself. No matter how many times you fell off that bike, you had to get right back up off that ground and you have to say, hey, I'm going to get this. I'm going to keep trying and trying and trying until I get it. And guess what? That's how you got to feel about yourself. Don't give up on yourself. You got to keep trying. Date yourself. Get to know who you are. You matter. Everyone has a purpose in life. We are all here on this planet to help one another. No one person can do it all. But for sure, one person can make a difference and one person can set a good example so it's very important that you love yourself all right folks I'm gonna find some more beads here Hold on. see what I can find here to add to this let's see oh see I should have spreaded them out I should have spread them out now. Hmm. Maybe I'll take some off. Let's see. Let's count. Three, four, five. Okay, I'll take five pink off. Then I'll put some blues in here. I'll put these blue blues in the middle. And then I'll put the, the other ones back on there. Yeah, how about that? I'll put four blue beads. How's that? Four blues. Or should I make five blues? They say blue is true. Blue is true. Um, so, but yeah, it's very important that you love yourself who you are, you know? See, when you love yourself and you know who you are, there's certain things you won't tolerate, you know? I always sometimes talk about myself and like a third person. I'd be like, is not going for this. <laughs> or I'd be like, you know... <laughs> And sometimes when I listen to myself, I sound a little crazy, you know. But I don't mind because guess what? I'm certainly at peace with myself, that's for sure. So I said, I'm doing something right. And uh, peace is another big thing. When you have peace deep, deep down inside within, money can't buy you that. Nope. When you have peace, according to the word of God, it surpasses all understanding. And it's so true. Because you can have peace in the middle of the storm. You can have hell going on all around you. But guess what? If you got peace deep down on the inside of you, you just be sitting back chilling, waiting for the storm to be over with. You just be like, hey, when is this storm going to be over? You know, like, I got things to do. When is this storm going to be over? You know? But, uh, yeah. All right, folks, so we got, I got one, two, three, four, four blues. I'm going to put another blue one. And another blue one. Another blue Blue is true. Yeah. Alright, here we go. I actually do sing, folks, but that's not my singing voice. That's what I tell you. <laughs> that's just me being my crazy self. I love me, myself, and I. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, okay, okay, let's see. It was 
this? What's happening here? What's happening here? What's happening here? All right, folks. I'm going to have to get another bead because that one, like I said, sometimes you can't get these things through the hole. They be stuck. I don't know why they be stuck like that. I have no idea. They just come like that. Okay, here we go. All right, let's cut this in here, shall we? So we got five pink, five blue, and then I'm going to put another five pink again, all right? And then it shall almost be done. Yeah, so today was a very good day for me. I had got a phone call that I've been waiting for. Um, I'll be moving soon. I just don't know which state I'm going to move in. I got to pick between Delaware, Maryland, and Ohio. So comment me if you're from Maryland, Delaware, or Ohio. Because I need to know something about your state. Because I'm trying to see what's the best affordable place for me to live in. You know? I would say I'm a little bit of a frugal, per frugal person, but I'm not a big time, you know, frugal person. All right, so this is what it looked like so far, as you can see. All right, let's see. Now, let's see if we got enough room for this uh, bracelet to go around anybody's wrist. Uh, let me add a little bit more, two more beads here. Let's see. We can get some of these and so, folks, we're coming to the end of this video. Thank you so much for joining me as, as I made my bracelets today. Please come again, watch my videos, and once again, subscribe. All right, Raisin 3 in Philly, coming at you. Let's see if that one will work. Let's see. That'll look nice. Something different there. Ah.